is it illegal to live in your car in America? Well, I've been doing it for a while now and there's no handcuffs around my arms. I do have a GPS ankle bracelet, but that's for something else. I'm just kidding. Got you, haha. <laughs> we are gonna push the boundaries today and find out the hard way. I'm gonna be stealth camping in this car right in front of a police station. And I'm looking at four police cars as I'm saying this. This should be a good one, stick around. My name is Arslan and I've been living in vehicles for the past few years. I started this lifestyle after calculating how much money I could have saved by not paying rent. So far I built and lived in a van, a sports car and an SUV, while also working in healthcare, traveling the country and putting myself through nursing school. Right now I'm a registered nurse living out of 2010 Chevy Camaro. You wanna see how I do it? Let me just clarify one thing before we start. There are two types of camping. There's regular camping where you go out to the nature and have a barbecue. It's like a picnic basically. And then there's what I'm doing, which is stealth camping. No one on the outside can see what I'm doing. Everything is discreet. I'm basically hiding in plain sight. The complete opposite. If you're wondering how I'm financially sustaining myself, well, support for this channel comes from you guys watching my videos and especially the ones who don't skip ads. Every time you skip an ad, I lose 20 cents. When people skip ads, it tells me who did it. Now, I'm not gonna point fingers and say who's skipping the ads and who's not. I'm not gonna say Alcazar Kane skipped 24 ads in the past four months. I'm also not gonna say that user 35124 skipped 30 ads. That's just not me, you know, I would not do that. But it's okay because today we got a sponsor. Real quick, I just wanna say thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. What is Surfshark? It's a VPN service that protects you when using the internet. Let me put it this way. It's exactly like stealth camping in my car. I have my window covers on and no one can see what I'm doing. Having privacy and feeling comfortable are important to me with this nomadic lifestyle, especially when I'm using public Wi-Fi to manage my YouTube or answer important emails. And guess what guys, Surfshark is not just a VPN. If you're holding a cup, you might wanna set it down because Surfshark is also an antivirus program. Keep your devices virus free and get real-time protection. My favorite part about Surfshark is the unlimited devices feature. They want you to spread the love. It's your six month anniversary. Hey sweetie, I love you. I wanna take this to the next level. I'm adding you to my Surfshark account. <laughs> yes, yes, with the malware protection and everything. Get exclusive Surfshark deal, enter promo code SCC and get three months free at surfshark.deals slash SCC. They have different plans, but I really recommend getting the Surfshark one because you get all these nice features like the antivirus malware protection and email and credit card breach alerts, all for one low price. It's lunchtime, I'm really hungry, so we're gonna be making something really special to celebrate the 100K. Can you guess what it is? Can you guess? I was gonna cook a lobster in this car, but I had mixed feelings about people liking it or not liking it. Can you guess? <gasps> lobster, guys, I got a live lobster here. <laughs> Today we're cooking lobster tail with skillet kale and garlic lemon. Just like that, my entire car is a kitchen. Over here we have a four ounce lobster tail and I'm gonna cook it by boiling it for a few minutes and then we'll do something special to it at the end. Okay, while that's boiling, let me come over to this area. I have my kale. I'm gonna be stripping them out of this thick vine Gonna coarsely chop them. Oh. Woo. 
I'm just gonna set the timer for five minutes on my phone. Okay, it's starting to smell like seafood now. <laughs> I was debating uh, getting a whole fish and cooking that for a video, like a big fish, but that's too much, I think. The reason I added cold water is to cool the lobster so that it stops cooking. If we overcook it, it's just gonna be like rubber. Just adding it right in there. I'm gonna go ahead and add some minced garlic and then some salt. Mix that together. I think we're doing really good. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and prepare the lobster. Okay, I think I got it. Multitasking. Take this, put it right on top. Okay, it's good. I'm gonna use the butter to brush the lobster on top just like this. And now we'll use this. If you don't know what this is, just watch. <laughs> okay, I think dinner is served, guys. I forgot one thing, which is my lemon. Okay. I feel so spoiled right now because I can't remember the last time I had lobster. All these flavors are coming back to me right now and it's like I'm at the beach. Mmm. Mmm. And the little bit of butter that we put on top, it was just perfect ending to a simple dish, you know? This was so easy to cook, I think I think a monkey can do it. And then we have the kale. I actually burnt it a little bit, but I like that flavor. Do you think anyone's looking out there? We're looking good outside. So what sucks about this car is that there's just no room for a fridge. So all of my food I have to buy at the time, the day of, or right before I cook it. And there's no cold drinks either, so this is like room temperature right now. Let's talk a little bit about YouTube. It's a roller coaster of emotions. One week my views are up, the next week my views are down. But it's also emotionally draining, because you know, I see my views going down and my heart just breaks. <laughs> so. I'm gonna be speeding up my job application to work as a nurse, guys. I think once I start working as a nurse, uh, 
Hello? Hello? Right here, right here. How you doing? Good. I'm just uh, making food. Yeah, it's a camper. Yeah, you wanna see it? Okay. This is very cool. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, how interesting. Thank you. This is water. This water? That's water. Okay. I don't need to smell this. Okay. okay. So what are these, solar panels? Or? Yeah, so this is, uh, solar panels are connected to a small box. It's a portable battery station. Uh -huh. It's in the trunk. So I can charge my laptop. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, this also has a water system. Oh, you're all set up. Again. Check it out. There's a, there's a urinal. There's a fresh water and dirty water. Wow. And you feel safe here? This is okay? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah, especially with you guys around. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Hey, since you're here, can I ask you a legal question? Sure. Um, sleeping and moving in vehicles technically not against the law in New Jersey as long as we're following parking regulations, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. We'll be okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. No, that was a police officer. <laughs> that was crazy. He was so cool, guys. Oh, it was a good conversation. Um, he just uh, asked me, what am I doing? What's going on? He just wanted to know a little bit about me. He asked me where I'm from. And, you know, I just showed him the camper a little bit. And then he said, uh, you know, as long as you're following the law, as long as you're not trespassing on private area, you're fine. The only reason he actually came up to here is probably because my engine was running and then I had my window covers on. But yeah, that was good. <laughs> Yo, I heard knocking. I was like, okay, I already knew who it was. I already knew it's a cop because we're standing in front of them and he's actually, he's parked that way. <laughs> and I walk out with my wine glass. <laughs> I was like, smell it. He's like, I don't need to smell it. He's like, how you doing? I'm like, good, how you doing? I'm like, okay, he's waiting for me to explain. He just wanted to get to know me because I feel like officers, you know, when they see somebody suspicious, they want to get to know them so that they have more information about what's going on. That's what they do. They watch everything. They're, they're kind of like big brother, you know? I want my big brother to watch after me. He was so chill. I told him all about me. You know, I told him where I'm from because he was curious a little bit. Uh, I think uh, they want to get to know you just enough, just enough so that they feel good that you are not a suspicious person. And I, I think it only took like two minutes before he determined that, you know, I'm not a threat. So that answers the video's question. I'm in New Jersey, just to clarify. And that officer just confirmed to me verbally that it is 100% legal and okay to live in your car and sleep in your car yeah that was uh that was a cool experience like i was saying before we got interrupted by the officer i was talking about the roller coaster emotion of youtube you know it's not steady at all and that's why i don't like it part of me was debating okay let me just focus 100 percent on youtube and see where that gets me but now at this point i think it's a much better idea to work as a nurse full-time and have that money guaranteed coming in every week and then whatever i make on youtube is just a bonus you know now you're going to ask me is it going to interfere with my posting schedule right now i post every week on saturdays at 7 a.m i don't know i honestly don't know i tried to do it when i was going to nursing school full-time it lasted a little bit and then i had to take a break worst case scenario i'll just be posting once every two weeks some of you are really upset right now they're like no that sucks that sucks no you're my favorite youtuber arslan um yeah okay you can't do this to us it's not fair to us if i do get a job as a nurse that's gonna take three days off my schedule nurses usually work 12 hour shifts three days a week so that's 36 hours and i'm comparing these numbers in my head with how much it takes me to make one youtube video if you're curious on that information there's three steps to make a youtube video the first one is the planning that takes between six to 12 hours, you know, coming up with the video idea, the title, the thumbnail. And step two is recording. It's usually six to 12 hours. And then the last step, which is the video editing. And that takes average 24 hours, average. 
So, let's do the math. 42 hours to make one video. It's a full-time job. And then if I add in the 36 working as a nurse, that's two full-time jobs. It's a lot. <sighs> I think I'm just gonna wash my head real quick. Now, realistically, I would just go to the gym. That's five minutes away. <laughs> but you guys want to see me do stuff in here, right? <laughs> oh, that smells so good. Ah. That wasn't so bad. I'm gonna use you guys as a mirror. Somebody wanted to see how I uh, cut my hair, do the fade on this side, and then also here there's work needs to be done. I don't wanna do it here because it's just gonna get messy. Um, I usually cut my hair in the shower at the gym, but I think I can show it on one of my videos next time. Man, I feel like a million dollars just washing my head. But if you're curious on how I do cut my hair, I have uh, something like this, it's a wireless. And then to actually fade everything, I use foil shaver. The other important part I use is these types of scissors to blend these edges. So it's not like a rough line on this side. You guys wanna read some comments? Actually, let me get in the bed. Well, this is a lot better. Look, there's there's even extra room here, you know, in case I find somebody ever. New subscriber. Thank you, Kebab. Okay, this is a good one. Uh, Moki Grapes says, me watching this so that I'd know what to do when my parents kick me out. <laughs> Check it out. Suwan Carey says, as a craft person, staying in my car is sometimes a necessity. I try to park in nice neighborhoods near the venue. My favorite encounter was a resident was parking on the street with a tree-lined empty spot. On that opposite side, the street was their home. I was dead tired. I fell asleep right away. About three hours later, the homeowners came out and invited me to their home to spend the night. That's crazy. I am sure they were safe, but I declined because, well, you never know. I did spend the night in front of their house, locked in, of course. To this day, I appreciate their acceptance. Well, that's cool. I probably would have done the same thing. I would have probably not accepted um, unless they were YouTube subscribers. <laughs> if, they, if they said, hey, Arson, we love your channel. Come in, have some tea or something. Um, <laughs> If you like this video, make sure you leave a comment, subscribe, all that stuff. I think I'm gonna call it. See you guys next time. More subscribers. Five million. Sponsorships, big sponsorship. Full full time YouTuber, more subscribers, more views. <laughs>